Okay, so we are reinstalling the MC4 connector we had to cut off uh, because we couldn't get it disconnected. Um, so we, we cut the wire and we have new MC4 connectors. This is the female connector that we actually didn't have to cut, um, but this will go on the opposite end. This is the male connector that we are going to have to place right here. And the, the male connector and the pin that goes inside of it right here and this is the female connector and the pin that goes inside of that so first we're gonna um, just strip some of this wire off so that way we can we can crimp this pin to it and I'm just I don't have a legitimate stripper so I'm literally just gonna be careful and just cut a ring around and, and pull the the um, the insulation off of this copper wire Okay, so I got, um, I got the, the insulation completely cut around it. So now all we gotta do is just wiggle it off. And again, this would be way easier if you had a stripper tool, but it is still doable without one. So for the male connector, we, all, we have our, our handy dandy crimper as well. We're going to get the pin that is uh, going to be inserted. And what I like to do is set it on the crimper first. And you, there's a certain way you have to do it. You have to put the rounded side of the pin um, on the shorter end of this crimper. And it kind of, and it kind of just, you can set it in here and just hold it just like that. And then insert the wire into the pin and then crimp down. As you can see, it's crimped in. And you can see how it, it bites into the, the copper threads. And now this piece is good. And you'll want to take off this little cap. There's like a little rubber grommet in there. Cap over the end, and it, it might be easier to put this on first, but then you'll have the connector, and you want to slide it onto the pin until it clicks. It just clicked, and now it is. I'm pulling; it's not coming off. That's how it um, latches on. All right, and then you will just once it's it's locked on, you will just pull the nut up and just tighten it on. And depending on where you get your MC4 connectors, it should come with a couple of these connector tools. And what you can do here is just slide it on the nut, slide it on the other end, and then now you got yourself a nice little wrench to be able to tighten this on there as good as you can to make sure it is completely sealed so no water can get in there. There it is, MC4 connected. We have the other end of this male connector um, on the solar panel already. So once we got it, once we get it up here, we'll just be able to plug it in and it's ready to go.